All right, we're back. We are back. Um, all right, so that Mets game, unfortunately, didn't save. The historic ninth inning comeback, the five-run ninth inning, is no more. But every other game saved, so that's good. So the stats that I showed in the previous stream are all accurate. So that is good. We'll wait for a couple more people to start watching here, and then we will send the Mets game over again. Four-game series against the Mets. DeGrom looms in the finale against the struggling Mike Farmer. But the Big Cotters have some good pitchers going here. Man, back-to-back four-game series Monday through Thursday of the next two weeks. Let's get ready for some Big Cotter baseball. Where the hell did everyone go? Where the fuck is everyone? A bunch of fake fans left after one one game crash. That's some bullshit. Uh, the Astros for Ybarra and Brewer. Uh, okay. Interesting trade goes down. Big Cotters win 9-4. So the game crashing actually might have been a good thing as the Big Cotters get the victory. Big offensive showing. Jim Cotter went with the same lineup that he did before. Three hits for Ben Keefe. Man, Joel had three hits. He's turning it around. Two hits for Nate Reed. Two for Austin Cotter. Two for Brady Wang, who's playing third base in this one, hitting eighth for some reason. Nate Reed went yard again. Kieran with his second bomb of the year. Joel had a double. Owen with an error. CJ Smith stole a bag. Did he even play? Oh, he pinch hit, walked, and stole. Love to see that. Jackson Rydell, seven innings, three runs. Very respectable outing. Tucker Yasunaga is pitching very well. Wow, got to say you're a little surprised with that. And uh, Big Cotters are 14-8. and eight. Next game, one is a 7-1 loss. Damn, I, I kind of sold, it looks like. Actually, I probably didn't because six runs came in the eighth. Wow, the bullpen sold. Kieran leading off for some reason. Jim Cotter absolutely drunk with this lineup, so that just explains it. Ben Keefe, 3 for 4, hitting 423. He is on fire. Brady Wing with a hit uh, and an RBI. Sam stole a bag. Kyle tossed 7 innings, 1 run, and then the bullpen just decided to fuck the game up. Matt Welsh, 3 runs. Handel is the new Matt Welsh. My God. Yasunaga again pitches well. Mm. Jesus, Michael Handel is the new Matt Welsh of this year. The new Drew Spaulding, maybe. Damn, bro. All right, next game. Greg Terry, Joey Lucchesi. Oh, my God, Cots. What the fuck are we doing here? CJ Smith, two hits. Joel with two knocks, three RBIs. Two hits for Sam, two hits for Owen, two hits for Ben Keefe, who keeps just absolutely on fire. But uh, looks like Greg Terry was not too good once again. Cotters have a starting pitching problem, it seems. Ten hits, only three runs, kind of disappointing. Joel went yard. Sam doubled. CJ Smith was caught stealing. Greg Terry, seven runs allowed. Lack gave up two runs. Max Marcus, two runs. There goes Drew Spaulding with two runs allowed. And, uh, man, pitching staff was shit. And uh, now Farmer DeGrom is not a matchup I'm too I'm too much of a fan of. But, hey, we're going to jump in, see what happens here. Can the Cotters score some runs off of Jacob DeGrom in this game? Never know what can happen. Brady Lang very low on energy. Probably going to have to give him a day off. Ben Keith's been on fire, so we're going to stick him up there. Probably not that high in the order. We'll move everyone up a little bit here. And... Uh, Hit Ben Keefe. Sixth sounds probably good. How's Tim been hitting? Not that great. So, yeah, Ben Keefe can hit sixth. Cot can start. Yeah, we'll give Lang, Lang a breather. Ben Keefe's been absolutely on fire. Farmer, grit better than DeGrom. Well, not this year so far, but, hey, you know, could happen in this game. Like the confidence. Ben Keefe, hey, uh, to someone tell you, Mish Access, to watch the stream because he's on fire right now. All right. 
Mike Farmer on the bump. Need a big outing from him to match Jacob DeGrom. And the first inning, his defense fucks him over. And then he gives up a single. And he gets out of it. No runs allowed. All right, CJ Smith leading off against DeGrom. Ground up. Base hit Nate Reed. There we go. Base hit Joel. Sam Holvey up two on one out. And he strikes out. And Kieran now strikes out as well. Mike Farmer. Perfect. Hits the pitcher. That's really bad. But then he gets out of it again. All right. No harm, no foul. Ben Keith grounds out. Tim ground out, ground out, ground out. Mike Farmer. Uh oh. Two on one out. Fly out. Rosarena strikes out. All right. Mike Farmer working around his damage here. And Jacob DeGrom dealing. Mike Farmer. There we go. Pitcher's duel so far. Sam single. Kieran single. Ben Keith. Fielder's choice. We'll hop in and watch this RBI spot for Tim. First and third, two outs. Big at bat in the game. The Grom's not going to give up many more runs, so got to get a hit here. And he left that one over the plate. Tim hit it way back. Center field, and it's going to come just short. Oh, my. He missed a homer by about three feet. You got to be shitting me. Oh, man. Tim got on that pitch, left it way too high. But he's just short of a homer. God damn it, man. So close. And back to Mike Farmer on the bump. And that is a bad start to the inning. Gets a double play, and somehow the runner doesn't score because this game is broken. We'll take it, though. Austin Cotter leadoff double. Should Farmer take this at bat, we'll let him bunt Cotter over to third. There we go. Now all you need is a sack fly. Base hit, C.J. Smith. Let's go. He's going to steal second now, too. Nate Reed reaches on an error, second and third. Let's hop in. Hey, let's watch some RBIs here. Let's go. Jacob DeGrom, a little bit flustered now here. Man. Joel sailing at the off. dish, second and third. They're going to walk him while wow, weak, weak. Fuck you, Mets. All right, bases loaded, one out. Not it's going to have to be Sam Holvey instead. How about a grand slam right here? Ball one. Jacob DeGrom shitting himself right now. Marcus Stroman's in the pen for the Mets for some reason. And that is on the ground. That's not going to be two, though, so that'll get a run in. Good work by Sam to put it in play. Was hit too softly to be a double play. And the big cutters tack on an insurance run here in the fifth. And now Kieran with a single can make it 4 nothing. Let's go. Up nope, high, 100 miles an hour here in the fifth inning from the Grom. Nope, Two and zero, good work. Big Cotter offense, very patient so far this year, taking a lot of walks. Really like to see it. Nope. And that's ball that's three on a hundred. Ben Keith waits on deck, hitting 406 on the season so far. Nope, that's, that's ball four, and he'll get a chance with the bases loaded. DeGrom only has 54 pitches, despite kind of losing himself here. And that yep, is a curveball. He's thrown five balls in a row now. Seven viewers. Man, love to see it. Big Cotter fan base out in full force tonight. And Ben Keith whiffs on 101. Man, DeGrom's still throwing 100 here in the fifth inning. And that one is low on the changeup. Why not just throw your 101 mile an hour four seamer every pitch? And ball three. Ben Keith can walk in a run here. He takes a ball. Got to be ready for a pitch to hit here, though. There it is. And he pops it up. Right fielder coming in. Looks like Conforto. And that'll end the inning. But the Big Cotters add one more run. Actually, I think they added both runs that inning, yeah. Both runs that inning. Take it to the Cotters that inning. We will let Handel and his 9-3-5 ERA pitch in the 7 nothing game. And can he have a clean inning? Yes, he can. Big Cotters shut out the Mets. 7 nothing. Split the series. Beat Jacob DeGrom. 
Big time victory for the big cots. Austin Cotter with a three run bomb. And uh, five run seventh inning. DeGrom goes to one and three on the year. Mike Farmer, seven shutout. Oh boy, it's probably lagging again. Here now is our final line score. First for efficient. your victorious home Fuck team. Seven runs on 12 hits. One error, they left 15 men on base. For the Mets, no runs, six hits. One well, error, they left 14 we'll check the men box on score because apparently it was lagging during the action. Time of the ball game. Three hits Three for Nate Reed, two for minutes. Joel. Two hits for Austin Cotter, including a three-run bomb. Afternoon. Ben Keefe had a two-run single. Nate Reed doubled. Cott also had a double. CJ stole a bag. Mike Farmer, seven shutout frames. Love that. Tucker's been lights out out of the bullpen. Even Handel had a, had a clean inning. Love that. All right. Seven, nothing. Big Cotter victory. Austin Cotter, player of the game. There we go. I doubt he's watching, though, of course. Little Money Cotter, are you watching currently? All right. Weekend series against the Brewers. Connor Rourke pitching the first game. Then you got Rydell against Corbin Burns, but Burns hasn't been that good. And then Adrian Hauser taking on Kyle Toss. Good matchup there. First game, Connor Rourke. He's got a shutout going late in the game. We're not going to jump in because it's 10 nothing. but, man... He's been lights out. My goodness, he is coming for the Cy Young. He is coming for his second straight Cy Young. Big cutter offense, 12 hits, 10 runs. Two for four, four RBIs for Nate Reed. Two for five, two RBIs for Joel. Four hits for Kieran. Austin Cotter heating up with two hits, three runs. Sam Holvey hitting eighth for some reason. Has a hit and four RBIs. Does that mean it was a grand slam maybe? I don't know. And, uh... Holvey went yard, Nate Reed went yard, Joel and Kieran each doubled, and uh, man, what a win for the Cotters. Did Connor go all nine? He went eight and two-thirds, and then Jim decided he didn't want to stick with him. Fifteen strikeouts for Connor Rourke, eight and two-thirds, three hits, no runs, 15 strikeouts, and then Jim decided, fuck you. I don't like you enough to let you get one more out. I'm going to have to go to Max Marcus instead, which is a pussy move by Jim. But you know what? What an outing. He is absolutely dominating again. He has to be in the Cy Young race right now. I mean, he has to be. Nate Reed, third in MVP. And Connor Rourke, first in Cy Young. My fault. I accidentally went to the AL. Connor Rourke, 5-0, and .81 ERA, 846 Ks. First in Cy Young right now. Nate Reed, third in MVP. Big Cotters are on a roll. 16 and 10. Let's hope it's not lagging again. Should probably check the chat pretty often. All right, good. No one's telling me it's lagging. Next game. We've got Rydell with a shutout late in the game, and it's 1-0. So I say we watch this inning here. It's a 1-0 game. Big Cotter starters, the front of the rotation, dominant. Rydell's looking to go 9. Let's see if Jim pussies out and takes him out again or not. 1-0 lead. Who got the one run? We're going to have to check. Ladies and gentlemen, you're a. I am not going to be the pitcher, but let's check the stats here first. Cotters have eight hits, Brewers have three. Three hits for Kieran. The RBI came from Jackson himself. So Jackson had an RBI single in the second inning, and that is the only run of the game. Man, how many Ks does he have? He's got five Ks, three hits allowed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just get three Attention more outs here. Brewers. Easy out here, Orlando Arcia first. Orlando. Pretty much a free out to start Arcia. the game. Or at least I'd hope. Only 83 pitches to domination. I got a ball, one strike. That's a ball. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Don't walk Arcia, please. Literally throw him one right down the middle. There we go. Good pitch, 98. Still got the gas here in the ninth inning on his 86th pitch. 2-2. Two, two. 
and that one hit pretty hard, but it's going to hang up there, and the catch is made by Tim Wallace out there in right field. First out of the inning, two outs away from a complete game shutout that Connor Rourke should have had last game, but Jim pussied out. There's a slider right down the pipe. Let's go, Jackson. Big Cotter starters have been absolutely clutch. That one on the ground. Sam right there. Easy play for him. Two down. Ben Keith playing first. One out away. Harold Ramirez will step in. Kennedy warming just in case. Hopefully Jim Cotter doesn't be a bitch again and put him in with two outs. Ball, that's down. Man, that was a good pitch. Didn't get the call. 2-0, oh, be careful. There's a great pitch. Tailed away from him. 99. 2 and 1. Inside. Oh, inside. Come on, Jim. If he walks him, just let him face Yelich. Don't be a bitch. He's fine. Let's just get out of it here, though. Oh, man, another pretty good pitch. Um, didn't give him it. And one runner is on. Will Jim elect to go to his closer, or will he act? Elich, though, so a little, little nervous now. There's a great first pitch slider. Caught the bottom edge. Yelich raking against lefties this year. Not so much against righties, so that's a good sign. Inside on the four-seamer. Let's go, Jackson. Oh, man, I thought he painted the corner. Um, this sump is not giving him any calls, and he's still pitching a gem. Man, two and one. Oh, man, blew the fastball right by him, two and two. Big Cotter's a strike away from another shutout of this Brewer team, and that one just misses. Careful now if you're Jackson. Don't want to put two on. Then I'd maybe agree with going to to Kennedy. Let's just make a pitch here. Get out of the ball game. 3-2, and he missed by a lot. 100th pitch. He's walked two in a row. What will Jim decide to do with Josh Donaldson coming to the dish? Two runners now on with two outs. Looked like he was going to get through a clean inning, but now got some stress, and he is going to leave him in. To face Donaldson, try to let him get through the complete game. Come on, Jackson, one more out. One more out, no singles. Whoa, Up high, weird. throwing a hundred, man, hundred on this hundred and first pitch. Runner on second is seventy-seven speed. So yeah, single, and this game's tied, almost certainly. There's a pitch, ninety-seven. 1-1, one, one. Donaldson 0-3 on the game, 103rd pitch, swing and a miss on the knuckle curve, 1-2, and two. come on, come on, don't lose him here, end this ball game right here, oh man, that's a hell of a pitch, tough one to lay off, 2-2, two and two. This Brewer offense finally making him work after 8 and 2 thirds innings of doing nothing, and he got him. Big Cotter's win. Back-to-back -back shutouts. Let's go. These Big Cotter starters coming up clutch. Jackson Rydell with a complete game shutout of the Brewers. Brewers has still have zero runs in the series. Craig Council looks at his team in disgust. Only three hits. And Jackson Rydell had the RBI, the only RBI of the game as well. Has a game. Player of the game. Fanta, final line score. First for the Two hits for Brady Lane, team. three for Kieran, run, but the RBI hits, came from the no pitcher himself. And his stat line walked for two, Brewers, and his only no two walks runs, came in the ninth hits, inning. Struck no out errors, six, nine innings, three base. hits, no runs allowed. Big Cotter's win. The the They'll look game. to bring out the brooms in the final game of the series against Adrian Hauser.
They will look to bring out the broom 17 and 10. Tosk versus Hauser and a 2 1 victory. So the Brewers dropped one run in three games in the series. Wow. Jordan Elliott with two hits, hitting in the two spot for some reason. Cots only had six hits total. Van Ness with a hit and two RBIs. Jordan doubled twice. Man. Our, both RBIs came from Owen, so it must have been a two-run single or something like that. And Tosk, six innings, one run, seven Ks. The bullpen, Yasunaga, Marcus, and then Kennedy with the save. Very good work. So Rourke, Rydell, and Tosk are all pitching fantastically. And then Terry and Farmer struggling a little bit. But overall, Big Cotter team sweeps the Brewers. Grabs two against the Mets. Grabs two against the Cubs. Actually, I think they only got one against the Cubs. But 18-10. and 10, Good for a three-game lead in the division. The Fraudinals in last place now. Unreal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, who... How do the Big Cotters fare overall? So the Yankees are better. 21-8 and eight so far. The Dodgers are about the same, 19 and 10. Nationals, no. Astros are 21 and 8. Man, wonder how that could be. Maybe some, maybe they got new trash cans in the dugout. And uh, White Sox, pretty identical. And uh, all right, so Big Cottage, one of the best teams in baseball so far this year. Now they got a series against the Marlins, facing Sixto Sanchez, Eliza Hernandez, Steven Matz, and Pablo Lopez, all pitching pretty well. First game, Greg Terry, 4-1 Big Cotter win. They are on fire. Five wins in a row for the Big Cotters. I think we're going to have to now quick manage every game until the winning streak ends. Once you get to a five-game winning streak, I think that's the rule I'm going to make. If the Cots win five in a row, I quick manage every game until the winning streak ends. Nate Reed, two hits. Tim Wallace, two hits. Troy had, a, had two RBIs. Wallace doubled. Ten hits overall for the Cotters. And Greg Terry finally with a good outing. Only made it through five, but one run allowed. Struck out six. Matt Welsh, one and a third scoreless. Tucker is absolutely dealing out of the bullpen this year. Wow. Uh, James Kennedy, another save his seventh. Drew Spaulding with a scoreless inning. Big Cotter's clicking on all cylinders. And we are going to jump into the next one. Look at It is five wins in a row, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. So looking for their sixth straight victory here. Hernandez is 5-0 with a 2.61 ERA, so he is dominating for the Marlins. Farmer coming off a seven-shutout inning game. Here we go. He will be on the bump here. Time to give some guys some off days. Brady and Joel, very low energy. I think it's time for a Joel off day. So we're going to stick Ben Keefe at short. He's still on fire. Yeah, he's playing well. He'll play short. Gonna move. How's Kieran hitting? Yeah, we're gonna move Kieran to the cleanup spot. Is Austin Cotter gonna start this game? He's been definitely better than Troy, right? Yes, by quite a lot. So he'll start. Anyone else need a breather? Now I'll keep it as is. Looks like Brady Lang needs a day off. We'll give him a day off next game. We don't want to have Joel and Brady both sit in the same game. We're asking to end the losing streak there. Looking for win number six in a row. Man, the next one, wow. Didn't expect that. D Rose, 26 points, love to see it. Anyway, should be focused on this Cotter game here as CJ Smith and Tim Wallace get stretched out, ready to go. Mike Farmer, struggling so far, but he just coming off seven shutout. So you gotta hand it to him. Trying to turn things around, heading into quick manage. Farmer, strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. Strikes out the side to start the game. Double for Nate Reed. He is an MVP candidate if I've ever seen one. Brady Link, RBI single. Glad I didn't give him an off day. And then a double play. 
Farmer walks. Duval. Duval steals a base. Jeez. How does he have 67 speed game? And then Jock Peterson with an RBI single to tie it. And then a walk. Fly out. Fly out. Two outs. Got to get the pitcher. And he does. Cotters go down one, two, three. Farmer gives up a single, then an error. Big cutter defense is a little sus, not going to lie. A lot of errors being made. Big Cot grounds out. Farmer grounds out. CJ grounds out. Double for never heard of that guy. Walk. Pitcher moves the runners over. Big hitter here. And a ground out. Walk for Nate Reed. Are you trying to steal with him? He's got 424 steal. We're not going to risk it. Strikeout Wang. Double for Kieran Tawari and an RBI. And the big Cotters have taken the lead. Mike Farmer really low on energy, so got to probably pull him after this Ball inning. Four, you, First and second. I ah, should have pulled him before that inning. He is done. Three-run homer, Jack Peterson. My goodness, Mike. Your Jack please. Youngman is going to come in, and he'll get out of the inning. Ben Keith, ground out. Austin Cotter with a base hit. Do we keep Lack in as the hitter here? To eat some innings. Nah, we got a we got a pretty fresh bullpen, I think, because the starters have been good. So we're gonna pinch hit for him. Joel is on the bench, but I want to save him for a little later if we need him in a big spot. So I think the best pinch hitter here is probably here's down to heart of the order due up. Brady Wang at the dish. Let's go. The batter, number two, second baseman, Brady Lang. And he fouls it away. It's lagging. God damn it, bro. Is it really lagging? All right. It's not lagging anymore. Are we good? Of course it's not fucking lagging, bro. All right. It's good now. All right. 4-2. First and third, no outs. I don't know if it was lagging when uh, Mike gave up a three-run nuke to Jack Peterson or not. But, um... If it, uh, if it was, that's what happened. Brady Link swings at a pitch with eyes. And now the Big Cotter's mounting a rally in the sticks to try to make up for it. And, uh... One and two, first and third, nobody out. Ball. Good take. Come on. And that one crushed, but foul was just ahead of it. And we'll get another shot now. Anthony Bass, the pitcher, former Cub. And he swings and misses. Gotta hand it to him. That's a good pitch. Ran inside on him, two seamer. Now batting. But uh, Number man, 14. tough strike out there. And now the double play is in order. And it will be Kieran Twari. One for two on the game. Gotta at least get one run here. If you get no runs in this inning, that is sad. Ball, that's just out. Generous, generous call there by the umpire. Oh, one and zero. Oh. Yeah, Brady Link's getting an off day tomorrow. Was tired. And he swings and misses ball, there. Come on, cops. Mike Farmer just has, like, no stamina, man. He gave up that... I mean, he's just... His energy was low. Gave up a three-run bomb there. That's a hit on the ground. That shouldn't be two if he's fast enough. Oh, my goodness. They turn it. I did not think they were going to get it. He was moving away from the base, but that's just a hell of a play by the Marlins. And uh, no runs for the big Cotters. Wow. Ladies and wow. gentlemen, your it will be please. Matt Welsh. That's who now Jim pitching. Cotter chooses. Matt. And Nathan Welsh. will enter the now game at short. short. Okay. Late game defensive replacement. That's pretty much what he is for the mm -hmm. Cotters. All right. Can Welsh have a scoreless inning here? <laughs> Not a good start. And then an error. The, I, my fucking god, dude. The big cutter defense is dog water. Fly out. Do we take him out here? 
He's faced three hitters. I'm taking him out. I'm too nervous about him, man. We're going to go with Theo. 80 Your overall. Pitching well so far. Pitch. Fly out yeah. and fielder's choice. Good decision. Okay, Sam. Eat it off. Ground out. Tim. New pitcher. Base hit. He can steal second. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna send him, and he steals second. All right, all right. Nathan at the dish here. Two run bomb. Nathan mistake country. Hooker with the two run bomb off the bench. He had nine at bats last year and had zero hits, and he ties the game with a two run homer. Unbelievable. Oh my. Zero hits all year last year. Comes off the bench. Ties it with a new, keeps the winning streak alive. Is this Joel time? I don't think so. I think Troy is going to take the at bat. Saving Joel hitting. for that late ninth Troy. inning. Big time at bat. Yeah. And a new pitcher coming in for the Cotters. I think we go Drew Spaulding here. Let's go, Drew. Strikeout. For the Single. Okay, okay. Strikeout and a double. Jesus. Second and third, two outs. Huge hitter here. Brian Anderson at the dish. We are jumping in for this one. Top of the eighth. Nathan. Brian what a fucking Anderson. clutch homer, bro. And that one in the air. And it will be caught by C.J. Smith. There we go. Good work, Drew. Good work. Top of the order due up for the big cotters. Gonna head into quick manage for the please. beginning of it. Now. If anyone gets on, I'll likely jump in. Michael Handel warming in the pen. CJ Grand out. Nate. Solo home run. The MVP candidate gives the big cotters the lead in the eighth with a solo bomb. Brady Wang with a single. Kieran strikes out. Base hit Sam Tim. Gets hit, bases loaded, two outs, and look who it is. Two-run bomb off the bench. Somehow wearing glasses. I don't know if I meant to do that or not. Now batting, number 29. But he is back at the dish at the bases juiced. Can break this wide open. Side armor pitching, and he falls off the slider. Come on, hooker. And he whiffs at the sinker. Side armor is really tough to hit, but I mean the big cotters have hit him so far. Very, very weird windup. And he went around. That's a tough call for the fucking home plate up to make. What the fuck is he doing, bro? But hey, Nate Reed with the solo bomb to give the cots the lead. Jim Cotter gonna make a double switch here. Do we watch the whole ninth? It's obviously going to be Kennedy here for Your the save. Please. The I'm going to quick manage maybe the first two outs. Now if he lets any base runners on, I'll, I'll, I'll jump Number in. 91. Uh, who's now the second? Right oh, there we go. Joel coming in at short. Number Good 17. work by Hooker. Jordan. One for two with a yeah. game-tying two-run bomb, but now it's Joel time. Defensive replacement late. Good work. All right. Come on. Come on, Kennedy. Base hit. All right. Jumping right in after that. Jock Peterson hit the three-run bomb earlier. We are not too confident with him at the dish. Gonna have to watch this now. Let's go, Kennedy. go Kennedy the fourth looking to seal the sixth straight big Cotter oh, victory down. two and one has not given up a run yet this year but has worked hard for a couple of his saves hasn't been super easy for him and down here we go one. again not honestly like super upset if you want to pitch around Jock the way he swung the bat but come on gotta challenge him on 3-1 and oh boy we got three balls Marlon's got to be not too thrilled about that call. We'll take it, though. Full count. Let's go. Big pitch here. And he barely got a piece of it. And he struck him out. 98-4 Seamer. 
Jacques looks silly on that one. One down. Brings up Jesus Aguilar. That's a hell of a pitch. Let's go. Way out in front of it. Way out in front of it. How do you way out in front of a fastball, bro? Jesus Aguilar at the plate. 0-3 on the game. And that's a hell of a pitch. 0-1. Fouled away. Probably got a little too much plate there. 0 2. And that curveball hung up there way too long. That one going to get into the gap, and this could tie it. Cotter's going to try to make the relay throw. Here it comes, and they're just going to go to there. second tied. with it. We're tied. Thought he maybe had a shot now to back. throw home there, but he this probably would have been late. Johan. RBI double for yes. Aguilar. That's just not a good pitch. I knew it as soon as he threw it. He just hung the curve up there way too long. I mean, if a hitter sits back on that pitch, he's going to drive it. And I thought Lang should have probably gone home with this ball. I kind of want to see the replay. I thought maybe he had a chance to at least make it a close play at the plate. Let's, let's check this out. I'm interested in this. Into the gap. Runner at 67 speed. Here came the relay. So he gets it here. Where is the runner at at this point? He is, he's like a third of the way to the plate. I mean, if you make this throw, I think it's at least cl somewhat close. I do not agree with going to second, but probably wouldn't have gotten him, so it doesn't matter that much. Now Kennedy's got to worry about keeping this game tied. It's first blown save of the year. First run allowed. Aye. Austin Cotter is going to shave real quick, per sources. This is still fucking lagging, bro. You gotta be shitting me, man. Are we back or nah? Come on, man. You gotta be shitting me, man. Alright, we're back. Are looks we back like. Or nah? It looks like. I could be wrong. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. 2-2 count on Jorge Alfaro. Runner on second, two outs. Man, how do you lay off that? 12-6 curve. Barely missed. Looked like a strike for 50 feet. Full count. On the ground, Brady Lang with a routine play. We are headed to the bottom of the ninth, tied at five. Kennedy's first blown save of the year on this Aguilar double. I, the question will be asked post game of this game whether Brady Lang might have had a shot at the runner if he would have thrown home. I think he would have had a shot at him, especially with his arm. Instead, he didn't even try it. But uh, probably can't blame it on that. Probably wouldn't have gotten him, but man, I think it would have been at least a play if the throw is online I don't know but either way Kennedy can't give up that double there now the cots left to pick him up by walking this thing off Yimi Garcia coming in seven and a third innings has allowed just one run so far and we will start it off with Austin James Cotter who is currently shaving per sources Dylan Floro up in the pen Let's walk this thing off, Cots. Let's go. Doing that thing up. ran inside. Lean into that, Cot. We need a base runner. Two and zero. Oh. 
That's a ball. Wow. Ump has been very favorable to the big cots tonight. I am not complaining. 3-0. Do not even think about swinging, please, cot. Please just take the walk. All right, that, that was borderline pitch. Good take, good take. 3-1. and one. Now be ready to hit. That one on the ground right at the third baseman. One down. Got it. And the pitcher spot up now. And uh, Jordan Elliott, I guess he double switched, so he's hitting in the pitcher spot. Okay. Not off to a very good start. He has been very underwhelming for the Cots so far in his big Cotter career. But that one might drop. No, it's going to be fine. We got, we got it, Ump. You don't need to say it that loud. All right. 0-1. What the fuck are you doing? I got the count. Oh, into. Pitch was in the dirt on a fastball. Dude, not even a curve or a slider. Fastball in the dirt, you chase it. Oh, two. Ball, that's outside. Man, that's strike three. That's a pain in the edge, but we'll take the ball call. Gives Elliot another shot. And that one hung right up there, and Elliot's going to have himself a base hit. And he's got some speed on first. There we go, Jordan. Big time hit. We'll see if big if uh, Jim Cotter decides Number to try 15. to send him here. I would. Elliot's got speed. That's just a good piece of hitting. And that will bring up the top of the lineup, C.J. Smith. Jordan Elliott has 75 steel. I would really send him, not on this first pitch, but on about the second or third pitch. There he is. They're throwing over. They're worried about him. Second or third pitch, I'd, I'd, I'd send him. Send him on first movement. Ball one, no strike. Let's go, CJ. Only one of eight in the series after he was super hot. But that can all change with a walk-off here. That's a pitch out. No Jordan strike. not going anywhere. Now it's 2-0. CJ going to get a pitch to hammer here in all likelihood. Let's go. I would think about sending Jordan on 2-0-2. He is not going, and it's 3-0. Nate Reed, the MVP candidate on deck, gave the Cotters the lead in the eighth inning with a solo homer. Take this walk, set him up for a walk-off. Swings at 3-1. That's all right. It's all right. 3-1 now. And that's a changeup, and it's full. Here comes a big pitch. They throw over to first. Elliott back in time. Good foul off. That was a really good pitch. CJ Smith second in the NL in stolen bases as you can see down there. Joel's third. Full count. One down. Runner on first. And they keep throwing hey, over. They are really concerned about Jordan. I would be too, honestly. I think Jim should send him here at 3 2. But gotta be careful with it as they keep throwing over. I restart. Usually, so. Ah, lag, lag city. Laggity lag. What a ball game here. Big Cotter baseball.
We're good. Okay. Nate Reed, 3-0 count on him. Brady Lang waits on deck. Runner on first, two down. He Number can two. walk this thing Second off. Baseman, Three of six in the series. Has two hits already in the game. Jordan Elliott's got 67 until you see a strike here. There's another one. 2-0, I'd be ready to swing, but man, I would think about just staring at pitches until he shows he can throw a strike. Yeah. There's finally a strike. Lang is not in any mind to swing there. Now it's 2-1. and one. And Lang sends it in the air. It's going to hang up there. We're heading to 10th. We are heading to the 10th inning here in Cotterville, 5-5, Big Cotter Strand 2 in the ninth. Ladies and gentlemen, and it will be Michael Handel. Why, Jim? Why? Number Guy has walked four more guys than he struck out, has an 8-3-8 ERA. We are quick managing this because I don't want to see Matt well or, uh, Michael Handel get shelled. <laughs> Yasunaga's warming up. He's been lights out. Why wouldn't you put him in, Jim? My fucking God. Ground out. Strike out. Is he actually going to do it? He does it. One, two, three inning for Handel. Unbelievable. And now the big Cotters will have a chance to walk it off. Against whoever this guy is. James Hoyt. Leading off for Brady Lang running on second. He's got fielder. average speed. Number 14. Kieran Tawari at the plate and he chases Hard a one. slider. Ball, that's low. Okay, okay. Pitch outside. Two and one. Let's end this game right here. And that is fouled up. That one hit hard. But it's going to hang up there for the left fielder. And there's one down. Sam Pulvey will get a three. shot. Swing it. Outside. Good take on the slider there. Three. What the fuck? I mean, that's a worse pitch than the one you just watched, and you swung at it when it was Not already in the it. catcher's glove. Number 65. My God. Handel's hitting? Jim, do you have no one on the bench, bro? Hold on a minute now. Is he out of bench players? He probably is out of bench players. God damn it. Hold on. Substitution. Yep, no one left on the bench, so Handel's going to have to hit. Oh, boy. And I can't team select now? All right, I'll take a daddy hack with Handel on this first pitch. Because it won't let me. Handel on the ground, but it's not going to get it done. If he had any more speed, he could have beaten that out. But all right, we head into the 11th. Is Handel gonna stay in? No. I'm um, since I have Leading control now. I'm putting in uh, Tucker. Third baseman, Ryan Bullpen. Anderson. He's the only one left. Okay, no, never mind. We gotta we gotta get a second inning out of Handel because. Tucker's the only guy left in the pen. Cotters have no bench players left and one bullpen reliever left. 
I should be going to quick manage right now. And there's a walk. Oh boy. Do we go to Tucker here? It's a lefty though, so it's a lefty lefty matchup against Jock. I think we gotta We'll let Jim Cotter make the decision. Uh it's a lefty lefty matchup against Jock, so we're gonna stick hand keep Handel in for one more hitter. Hope he can try to find a way to get Jock out. And then I'm guessing that Jim will probably bring Jock. Tucker in after Jock. Just limit the damage. Like a sack fly, fine, whatever. As long as it's only one run, the Cotters can work with it. There's a strike. 0-2. Oh Come on, get a K here. Get a K here, set up a DP. That one on the ground. Throw home, throw home. There we go. One down. Gets it to first. Double play. What a huge play by the big Cotters. Handel. Clutch pitching the night, and now Jesus Aguilar, who did hit the game-tying double, will come up. I don't really like this matchup. I probably would have gone to Tucker here if I was Jim, but with the short bullpen, I understand it. Huge double play for the Cotters. Nice play by Holby to throw home, and then Austin Cotter on the first for the DP. Game-saving play right there. And that one. Scorched, but far. Hey. Got him! Michael Handel, unbelievable work. Two scoreless frames, gets out of a bases loaded no out jam in the 11th, and the big cotters now have a chance to walk it off. Joel Salen leading off, leading off the, the inning. The shortstop. Number five. Michael Handel. Absolutely clutch. Let's not even have to worry about the short bench and bullpen anymore. Please just walk it off right here. Big cuts. That one left right over the plate. Joel hit it hard, but it does not quite land fair. God damn it. Does not quite land. Swing and a one miss. Ball. One in two. two. Run. Oh yeah, I forgot Handel's running oh. at second. Damn. Who could? Uh... Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave him there. I mean, he's got eight speed. I don't think any of the starters have much better than that. Um, we can check though. I don't think it's really gonna make Number that much 36. of a difference. And of course, now I gotta swing at this pitch because I'm just gonna take it. Because it just the pitch is so quick that I can't even check the substitution. All right, uh, Handel is the runner. Rourke has does it even say his speed? Doesn't. Can I check his player card? Uh, where's his fucking speed, bro? Toggle attributes. There we go. Zero speed for Connor Rourke. Okay. Does he have any speed? I probably gave most of these guys. Six speed for Rydell. Okay, Tosk has one speed. And then Greg Terry has 18 speed. I don't think it's really worth it to run there. Does he, does he have anything? Four. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Doesn't. It's not going to matter that much. 18 versus 8. And um, Cotter may want Handel to get another hitter out too, so you never know. That one on the ground. It'll get the runner over. Okay, Wild Pitch wins it now, but two outs. Damn. Who's hitting in the nine holes? Is it Elliot? It is. Now batting. Elliot one for one with a single. Come on, man. Don't let it go. 12. The whole bullpen's been used already. The opportunity is there, that one. Oh, so close to getting through. If he does that again, Handel can try to score. Come on, Jordan. Just find a hole. That one on the ground. Get foul. Yes, it will. One one. That one. Beat it out, Jordan. Beat it out. Beat it out. He yeah. will not. And we're heading to the 12th. Man. 
Will Jim elect to keep Handel in there even longer, or will he go to his final reliever? Your he will go please. to his final reliever, now Tucker pitching. Yasunaga. 0.61 ERA in 14 and two-thirds innings. Has walked one hitter. Has not given up a hit to a left to a right-handed bat yet. And the first hitter up is a righty. We're gonna go to quick manage. Man, strikes him out. Next hitter. Do they have anyone left on their bench? Because their pitcher's now hitting. They do have someone left. It is a right-hander, Roldani Baldwin, and he hits an RBI single. First hit all year allowed by Tucker to a righty is an RBI single. But, hey, Cotters will start with a runner on second as well, so they can easily tie this game. John Bairdy, 0 of 6, takes a walk. Vargas, oh, boy, that could be the one. They get two runs. Your attention, <sighs> Not please. looking good for the Cotters. Now, Dylan Floro coming in. He's been kind of dominant, but it is C.J. Smith. Top of the order. Someone's got to hit a two-run bomb, probably. Leading that second run was over. killer. The center fielder. Yasunaga's been Number so good 15. all year, but kind of chokes there. That one. Broken bat gets fouled. Oh, good work. Out. All right, all right, all right. Jesus. Chase is a sinker. Come on, CJ. Just keep the line moving. Get on base here. Keep it going. Nate Reed on deck. And he gets hit. We'll take that. CJ Smith takes one for the team. First and second, nobody out for the MVP candidate, Nate Reed. Hit him right in the ass. Here we go. Let's go, Nate. Nate is unbelievable this year, having one of the best starts of the year I've seen in a long time on the show. OPS over 1100, 1-0, 2-0, here we go, let's, let's mount another comeback, Cots, let's go, a 12th inning comeback for the big Cotters, come on, no double plays, there's a strike, there's a strike, 93, you can get on that pitch. Oh man. Early on the off speed. Two and two now. You don't want to strike out with your best hitter up. At least put it in play. Move the runners over. He watches strike three. Nothing to argue about there, Nate. You stood there and watched strike three. Didn't even advance the runners. That really hurts. Brady Lang now. Once again, very least get the runners to second and third. But you'd love to get a hit here. You'd love to get on. Lang hopefully won't make the same mistake. That's going to do it. There's one. There's two. Big Cotters lose. Wow. What a letdown. Had two runners on. Nate Reed watches strike three. Brady Lang first pitch double play. Swear to God, Brady Lang's grounded into like 80 double plays this year. But Big Cotter win streak ends is what it is. Went to 12 innings. Taxed their bullpen. Not the greatest, now, but the uh, line scored tonight? can't win them all. Tucker Yasunaga has been so good all year, so you so can't really blame him. He's playing at like a 71 overall, and he's been that good. So can't really blame him for that. Tough loss for the Cots. I want to see, I swear, Brady Lang's grounded into 90 double plays. I have to see this, dude. Grounded into double play. Seven double plays through tw uh, 30 games. So that's unbelievable. All right, um, so why am I in AAA? Don't know. Two more games against the Marlins. Connor Rourke going again. Steven Mass. I don't think like hardly anyone's watching the stream right now. Oh, CJ's watching it, and Brady's watching it. All right, that's good enough. Hopefully we can get a couple other people on here. That's good enough for me to play a couple more games. Um, show stats after the game? Okay. Uh, so Brady, very, very good season so far. Very, very good season. CJ Smith, not bad. Was doing a lot better. He's kind of slumping a little bit now, but hey, you know, that's pretty good. Lead-off guy, stole eight bases. Joel, man, just struggling, you know. Nothing I can really say about it except he's, uh, he's slumping. Connor Rourke, unbelievable. Sam, could 
doing very well. Nate Reed, man. Look at this year. Wow. Hell of a season so far from him. Nine bombs, too. All right. Let's see how Connor Rourke does in the next ball game. I do not care about him. A loss. Very rare. Although it looks like Drew Spaulding got the loss. What a piece of shit. All right. Uh, Jordan Elliott spelled CJ in this game. Had a hit. Cotter's had three hits in this game. That's not going to cut it. That is not going to cut it at all. Jordan doubled. Connor Rourke had an error. He went seven innings, one run. I mean, very good start from Connor. Hat left with a two run, two one lead. Coley came in, gave up two hits, um, and uh, gave up a run. And then Drew Spaulding comes in, fucks the game up, walks two guys, gives up a run, and the Big Cotters lose three to two. Waste of Connor Rourke, Jim. Final game of the series. Nate Reed is uh, on a 12 game hitting streak. I don't care. Cotters are down 5 0, man. Pain. They have lost three in a row since that winning streak and lose a series in the Marlins. That is not acceptable at all. Wow. CJ had a hit. Joel hit. Brady hit. Troy with a hit. Sam with a hit. CJ with a double. And uh, Rydell, not his best outing. Not terrible. Not his best, though. Lack gave up a run. Wow. Okay. Diamondbacks are 11 and 20. <sighs> do we play this or do I just end it? Because, like, two people are watching. Had a good little run there. I was at 19 and 13, a game up. Let's check with the chat. Fuck off, Drew. Yeah, you're saying what we're all thinking. Knicks fan saying we want Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, we'll sim this game. And a 7-3 loss. Four losses in a row for the Big Cotters. Four losses in a row. Five run eighth. For the Diamondbacks, five run eighth. Owen Van Ness again. Why does C.J. Smith need two off days in three games, Jim? Fuck you, Jim. No one likes you. Double for Van Ness, double for Cotter. Brady Lang at two hits, two walks. Kyle Tosk, seven. Again, Kyle Tosk, seven innings, one run, seven strikeouts. And then Drew fucking Spalding again. Unbelievable. How is this guy so bad? He's the highest overall pitcher in the bullpen. My God, Drew, you got to be shitting me. And now it's Greg Terry who's been dog shit, and he's pitching next. Oh, my God. <sighs> Fuck Drew, man. This is unfucking believable All right, Chris Archer. And another loss. Five losses in a row for the Big Cotters. Let's see if the bullpen blew it again. No, it was Greg Terry this time. C.J. Smith, three hits. What more can you ask for? Nate Reed kind of slumping now since his great start. Joel had a triple. C.J. doubled twice. Troy Williams doubled. Greg Terry has been really bad this year. He's got to come out of the rotation, I think. Lax heading to the rotation. Got to make the move, man. Is what it is. Greg Terry's not getting it done at all. This happened last year as well. Lax pitching very well at the end of the day, so got to give him a shot here. And uh, there you go. Lack will uh, take over duties in the rotation. No lefties in the rotation now, but uh, got three in the pen. And i um, going to try to avoid the sweep of the fucking shitty Diamondbacks. Devensky's trying to close you out, so they're about to get swept. Unbelievable. But we'll enter and see if the Cotters can avoid a six-game losing streak. Bro, the Big Cotters won five in a row, and now have lost five in a row. I mean, how bipolar of a team can you be? <laughs> Should I cut Drew? I'm thinking about it. Sure, I'm thinking about it.
All right, ninth inning, big Cotters need a rally. Sam's going to lead it off. Let's check the stats for this one. Only four hits for the Cotters. The offense has just disappeared. Kieran had two of the four. Cot had a hit. Nate Reed had one of them. C.J. Smith struck out three times. Brady Lang has the only RBI. Must have been a sacrifice something. Um, and uh, Mike Farmer, not bad, but only got through five innings. Bullpen lights out in this game. Welsh, Marcus, Handel, Coley. But uh, trailing 2-1. to one. No, I'm not trying to hit here. I'm trying to watch. Sam Holvey trying to spark a rally here. Got to get on. Chris Devensky, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks. And it is ball one. And he swings and misses. That one crushed and caught. Actually, that was not crushed. I, my eyes deceived me. That was absolutely not crushed. My apologies. Kieran's in 336 this year. I did not know that. One out. Someone's got to just nuke one at the end of the day if that's what's got to happen. Strike one. Strike two. Three pitch game. Six pitches, two down. And it's up to Austin Cotter. Hey, Cotter, if Number you hit 36. a game tying homer here, I don't know what I'll do to you, but. Up high. There we go. Good take. One and one. Come on. How about a bomb here? Hey, Don't two. watch that pitch, please. Two strikes. Cotters down, and the Cotters are just unbelievably bad, man. Ball oh, two. That's it. Wow, Cot's watching. Unbelievable. Three and two. There we go, Cot. Let's go. Let's go. Brady Lang on deck. He can absolutely go yard. Was second on the team in, in bombs last year. Just just get on. Nope. Nope. Big Cotters lose again. They get swept by the Diamondbacks and have lost six in a row. Unbelievable. I'm not ending the stream on this six-game losing streak. Cotters have to win another game. My the goodness. final line score for our ball game this Four afternoon hits. for the victory. Jesus. Jesus. What is with this team, man? So many good players, and they can't win. There's no way they're leading the division anymore. Probably down like four games now. Unreal. Six game losing streak. Pathetic. They're actually still tied for the division lead because the Central's so shitty, but man. Now they're playing. Okay, so they're tied with the Reds at the top of the division, and now they're playing the Reds. I do not want to exit for three games. So this is a big series. Let's let's finish off the stream with this three-game set here, and then we'll head into tomorrow with the Dodgers series looming. I think that's a good way to do it. We got Connor Rourke leading off the series here. Six-game losing streak tied with the Reds, and then we will get to here. Not there. Here. And then tomorrow night we'll lead it off with the uh, the Dodgers series. So first game, simming it and a seventh straight loss. This is unreal. I'm gonna have to jump in and, and uh, quick manage the games, the next two games I think. Uh, two hits for Nate Reed, two hits for Sam, double for Nate, but uh, only one run. And uh, Connor, his worst start of the year, which is saying something because it wasn't a bad start at all. It was a quality start. Six innings, three runs, seven Ks. Not bad, but uh, big cotters can't do anything right. So that is a bad start with the way this offense is swinging it. Marcus gave up a run, too. Luis Castillo just shut down the big cotters. 
This is depressing, man. Seven losses in a row. All right, we're quick managing this one, man. I'm, I've had enough of this shit. Jackson Rydell on the hill against Sonny Gray. Please get a win, all right? Please get a fucking win. It's not that hard. All right, whoever's like cold, has a cold icon next to them is getting pulled. Joel, you're done. Tim's coming out. Tim has been playing like absolute shit. All right, we're putting someone else in there. Is Owen doing anything? Not really. Is Jordan doing anything? No, we'll, we'll give Owen the start, though, because why not? Let's give Nathan a start at short. I mean, he got, had to run bomb. Kieran's been, been playing well. We'll put him sixth here, and uh, we'll rock with this lineup. Bro, I've roided the team up like three times, man. Swept by the fucking D-backs. Yeah, I might... If the Cotters lose again because of Drew Spaulding, I'm releasing him. He can go play for the fucking Cubs or something. They can destroy him. All right. Cotters, Reds. Please get a win, Cots. Come on, man. Please. All right, quick manage. CJ, let's lead things off here. There's a walk. Love to see that. Strikeout for Nate, single for Brady, ground out second and third, two outs, Sam strikes out. Jackson allows a double, ground out, fly out, good work. All right, Nathan, ground out. It's back to back walks, all right, let's bunt with Jackson, get two runners in scoring position for CJ, and he K's. God damn, this offense is pathetic, bro. First and second, two outs, gets the pitcher to ground out, Nate Reed, and Kieran with a single, okay. Do we steal with him? He's done. He's got 40 steal. Probably not. We'll let Sam hit. There we go. First and second, two outs. Nathan strikes out. Unbelievable. Three strikeouts with runners in scoring position so far. And the Reds take the lead. First and second now. Fly out, ground out. Okay, could have been worse. Owen, strikeout, caught. Three straight Ks. Jackson's pitching very well, though. Cotter offense is just so pathetic right now. Nate with a with a walk. Double play for Brady Lang. His, like, 88th double play of the year. There we go, Jackson. I mean, how about a, a little bit of fucking offense, Cots? Jesus. We're going to steal now because we can't do anything else right. So we got to get someone in scoring position. All right, Sam takes a walk. So Sonny Gray's walked like five guys, but the Cots can't do anything about it. Nathan, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, they're gonna make a pitching please. change. Nathan, come on. Double play. Number My 51. God. Runner on third. Please, Owen. Nope. And a solo bomb from Winker. Single. Fielder's choice. Fielder's choice. Pitcher spot. Walk. Do we keep him in? Yes. Okay, he gets through six, two run innings. It should be enough for this Cotter offense with, like, full of 80 overalls. But nope. Austin Cotter. Okay, leadoff hit. All right, pinch hit. We're pinch hitting one of the good players. Or so-called good, but they're not that good. Tim You're Wallace. Come on, get us pinch a good at-bat here. Fielder's Wallace. choice. God damn it. You're stealing second, dude. There we go. Okay, CJ, come on. Round out. Nate, you're our last hope. Two-run bomb from Nate Reed to tie the game. MVP chance, even though they're on the road here. The road big Cotter crowd chanting MVP for Nate Reed. He has been on a different level this year. Who do the big Cotters go with out of the pen? I'm say, I'm thinking Theo. Your attention, please. Now here. And, Theo. okay, a single, a fly out, and he gets caught stealing Austin Cotter cannon of an arm. Here and ground out. Double for Sam. One out. Walk for Nathan. Do we hop in here? I think we do. One out. First and second. Big spot. Let's watch. Nope. I'm not trying to hit. Number twenty-five. Let's go. Owen Van S at the plate against Cam Bedrosian. All ones the count. Jesus. Probably got to get Joel in at bat here soon because uh, these guys suck. That one, ball one. Okay, okay. 
Only 20,000 here in Cincinnati. What a Mickey Mouse fan base. That's wow, that Ball is two. a really good pitch. But uh, not called a strike. All right, 2-2. Two, two. Let's go. Base hit here. End this fucking losing streak. Three and two. Austin Cotter waits on deck. Joel will probably pinch hit in that nine spot too if it gets there. That one massacred foul. Staying alive, three two. Seventh pitch of the A B. And it's nope. ball four, That's great ball. at bat, Owen. Bases loaded, one out. You cannot fuck this up, Cot. If Cot grounds into a double play, I'm ending stream. Now Just bad. be warned. Stream will abruptly end if Cot grounds into a double play. <laughs> and that almost was one if he got it a little bit more than he did. Foul ball. And that one, get fair. Nah, it's going to be foul. 0-2. Oh, Come on. God, don't K, don't K. Get this thing in play, at least a sack fly. And that is popped up, my fucking God. This offense is so ridiculous. Please pinch it, Joel, here. Your attention, please. Yes, sir. Even it. though he's been struggling Number this five. year, this is the guy you want up. Bases loaded, two outs for Joel Salen. Second best hitter on the Cotters last year. Outside. Off to a rough start in 2022, but hey, big spot here. Still a great hitter. There's strike one slider. Fouled away. One and two. Come on, Joel. Please, man. Base hit. Base hit. End this damn losing streak, please. I'm begging. Ball two, good take. Two, two, the, count. the big Cotter team not happy with Austin Cotter, it appears. Joel, base hit, big Cotter's lead. That should score two. Two run single for Joel Salen off the bench. Cotter's up four to two. Let's go. Two strike pitch. Takes it the opposite way. The batter. And he gets the Number second 15. two. They're going to give him a double. Fantastic. You absolutely love to see that. Two-run double, big Cotter's lead, and they're six outs away from ending the seven-game skid. Now, We're going to watch CJ's at bat now, too, at two in scoring three. position. Brad yeah. Peacock enters the game. Let's Peacock. go. Big Cotter's. That's a ball. Come on, CJ. Put this game away once and for all. I do not trust the big cutter bullpen, so a two-run single here would be absolutely beautiful. 0 of 3 on the game. He's due oh, for one. Cool. Takes a walk. Hey, if you want to take a walk, doesn't take one. Takes the second ball, but if, hey, if you want to take a walk, that's fine. Nate Reed is on deck. Puts that one. Oh, just no. foul. 2 and 1. And that one hung right up there. That should have been hit 500 feet. But he was just early on it. Pulled it. Foul. And that one fouled away as well. Good at bat. Two and two. Come on. How about one more hit? Struck him up. It's all right, though. It's all right. Joel Salen with a two-run double to give the Cotters the lead. Now they'll turn it over to the rest of the bullpen, and look who it is. If Drew Your Spaulding blows please. this lead, I am now going to shoot stop. someone up. Number Why wouldn't 34. Joel come in at short? What are you doing, Jim? Joel literally just hits. Why wouldn't you put him in at short on defense? I don't fucking know, but hey. Whatever. All right, Drew. I swear to God, man. I swear to God. Round out. Okay, good start. Of course. Single. Strikeout. Come on. Oh my god, Drew. You have to be shitting. Pinch hitting for the Reds. Second and third, Number and here nine. comes Moustakis, Mike. too. This is unbelievable. If he gives up a two run single here, I am going to rage. 
He's only thrown seven pitches too, and there's been four base runners. So every pitch he fucking throws is put in play, and he's supposed to be a strike god pitcher. One and zero. Oh. Got one. lucky on that one because that pitch was nowhere close. Up high, 101. I mean, you're throwing 101. How are you ass? Like, literally, how are you ass with a 101 mile an hour fastball? Jesus, Mustakis is making Drew look good when he's not. Should be ball four right there. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, Drew, just make a pitch. 101, man. Blow it by him. That ball. Oh, my God. If that stays fair. you drew my fucking god dude what the fuck i can't be too loud because my parents will yell at me but my fucking god fuck man what the actual fuck i literally cannot believe that two strikes absolute cock shot off the foul pole to give the Reds the lead with two outs in the fucking eighth inning had one goddamn job got the first out of the inning too hits the fucking top of the foul pole 400 feet Jim's had please. fucking enough of this piece now of pitching. shit number 65 unfucking believable about to lose their eighth straight game because of this piece of absolute bullshit Alright, we're watching the ninth inning, see if the Cotters can rally against Amir Garrett. Nate Reed up, good guy to have up. My god, I'm still fuming about that. Leading off for Pittsburgh, the first baseman, Nate Reed. Hey! One ball, two strikes. Jesus, mate. Jesus Christ. We're really going to lose our eighth straight game. I cannot believe this, man. This game, Joel, with a two-run double, I mean, you can't ask for anything more. You put in your setup guy in the eighth. There we go. Get down, get down, get down. It won't. That hang up there too long. Two down. Lang gave it a ride. Number Up to Kieran now. Oh and one. True Spalding! Go fuck yourself, bud! Get out of here! Get out of here! Kieran Tawari! Tie ball game! Let's go! Oh my! Drew Spaulding owes this man a steak dinner for that. Two outs in the ninth. Tie game. Let's go. Oh my god. Drew Spaulding bailed. Kieran Tawari goes yard with one out left to tie it. What a clutch bomb, bro. I thought it was just a foul ball animation at first, but he crushed it. Crush this ball. Let's go, Kieran. What a massive homer. I thought the Cotters had lost eight straight and it was over, but he just cockshotted it. Drew Spaulding, please give this man your next paycheck. Let's go. We are tied here in Cincinnati. The crowd is stunned. And now it's Sam Hovey here. Number three. Yep, 
man. One ball, one strike. Amir Garrett blows the game. Let's go, Kieran. One ball, two strikes to count. Bad pitch. I don't know why the home plate umpire always makes that fucking check swing call himself. At least appeal. That ball. Ball back. Two and two. Inside, three, two. Hey, if you want to get on base, be my guest. Let's try to grab the lead here. Squeak out a win. No thanks to Drew Spaulding. That one hit pretty hard, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be caught by Castellanos. We are headed to the bottom of the ninth. Who will Jim Cotter call on out of the pen? What a clutch clutch home run doesn't get clutcher than two outs in the ninth inning game tying home run does not get clutcher than this drew spaulding better literally give this man all the money he has in his house after that but the cotters still have some work to do handel is going to stay in here i'm going to quick manage this because it's kind of boring to watch full inning of pitching and I'll fly out, walk. I'm ready to go to Kennedy at any time here. First base. Hit by pitch. Uh oh. Okay, we're going to James Kennedy. The closer's got to come in. Please. Get this. Get these two outs here. Send us to the tenth. Come on. Come on, Ivy. Come on, man. Let's go. Don't blow this. Now, After that excitement field, of the Kieran Homer, do not it. blow this here. Handel kind of was the first to blow it, but get these two outs. Get us to the tenth. Let's go. Jesse Winker up, dangerous hitter. Ball. On the ground, that should be two. Big Cotters get out of it. Great work by James Kennedy to fourth. We are in the top of the tenth. I think we're going to just go to quick manage because it's a little... Getting a little late. Ben Keefe up first. Rounds out. Okay, Owen. Is anyone on the bench worth a damn? Nah, Owen's our best option here. Let's go. He takes a walk. Okay, okay. Austin Cotter. Come on. Fielder's choice. Got to go to a pinch hitter here. Troy Williams. Your attention, please. Please, man. Pinch hitting. I feel like we got to watch this at bat. Pinch hitting. This is the last at bat I'm jumping in for. This is a huge one, though. Troy Williams oh. off the bench. Williams. Ball one. Counts one and oh. No, we don't bunt here. We don't care about that. Whoa, that's down. Come on, Troy, two and oh. We only bunt if it's the pitcher. That's ball three. Three and oh. Load the bases for CJ. How about it? Let's go. Don't swing here. Bring CJ up, please. There we go. Just take another one, please. Just take this pitch. You're hitting 137. That was ball four, Troy. Come on, man. Full count. Full count. That ball hit hard. Get out of here. It won't. It's going to be short. And the Reds are going to have a chance to walk it off. God damn it. I thought he might have had that. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be Matt Welsh. Uh oh, this is disaster waiting to happen. Runner on second. We're just going to quick manage. Save ourselves the pain of him giving up the game. Pitch. Runner thrown out at the plate. I wish it showed who made the throw. That's massive. Line out. Walk. For the red. Come on. Come Number on. Three. Struck him out. Let's go. Big Cotters. I want to know who made that throw home. That was huge. 
your attention, please. All right, CJ Smith, a chance to give the Cotters the lead. Number 63. Right out. Wow, Shaw. 0 5. Rough game for CJ. Nate Reed up instead. Gotta take Welsh out. I'm just too nervous with him in. Gotta go Greg Terry here. Eat some innings, man. Get out of this. That'll do it. Cotters have lost eight in a row. Max Schrock hits a walk off. Unbelievable. Eight losses in a row. Drew fucking the Spalding blows the game. game tonight. Sure enough, the Kieran's homer not West. enough to save his Six ass. On what hits. a piece of no fucking errors. shit. They left 20 Nate Reed goes base. deep. The Tawari homer was huge. For the visitors, we find out who made runs, the throw. Seven hits, to, no uh, errors. Save they the left run. I don't 21 think runners anymore. on base. Rydell was good. Drew Time of the ball game. Spalding Three hours, so ten, fucking ass. Minutes. It's unbelievable. We know what exactly we're going to do after this game is over. After we get back to the home screen, there's one job and there's one job only to be done. Big Cotters. 26 players were made on the Big Cotters. I, wait, I went in, worked hard, said let's get a full 26-man roster of Big Cotter players. Now there's only going to be 25. Drew Spaulding. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Hey hey hey, goodbye you bitch. See you later. Last game of the night. Can the big Cotters end their losing streak? They sure can. Good way to end it. Finally a W. Six three win. Five run eighth for the Cotters. That's what you love to see. Not a great offensive game overall, but they came to play late. Uh, three RBIs for Wallace, Holvey two hits, Joel two hits, um, double for Sam, double for Owen. Tim Wallace, three-run bomb in the eighth inning. Love to see it. Tiwari got a steal. Tosk, five and a third, three runs. Not horrible. Uh, bullpen, finally, very good night for the bullpen. Yasunaga, two-thirds scoreless. Marcus, Coley, and Kennedy with his eighth save. All right, all right, all right. Cotters squeak out one win there. They're now a game back in the division, 20 and 18. They lost eight in a row, but hey, we're going to end the stream on a W. We're also going to end the stream on Drew Spaulding getting released. Let's see if any team's picked him up yet. Let's see if any team has uh, signed him. I know it's only been a day, but uh, hold on. Um, where do I go to do player search? Transactions? Yeah. Last name, first name, Drew is the easiest thing to type in. Drew Spaulding. He is not still on our team. Okay, well, no one has picked him up because it says he's still on our team. But uh, he should be a free agent shortly after he clears waivers. We are going to end the stream there. Big Cotters 20 and 18. Really rough night overall because the Big Cotters lost eight in a row, but they end the night on a stream. Dodgers series is next, so that should be fun. And uh, this Sunday game, Connor Rourke versus Trevor Bauer. We are jumping in for that one for sure. So watch tomorrow night, please. Thanks to all the Big Cotter fans who have stayed late here and are actually watching the game. I know who the true Big Cotter fans are. Good night. See you tomorrow. Go Cots.